That takes us to uh, Misha Dolan, Professor for Wireless Communication at King's College London. Now, as an entrepreneur, I'm, I'm fascinated how digital has empowered us over the last decades. And think about it, 50 years ago, the news were actually dominated by giants and titans in the fields, the IBMs, the Siemenses. And uh, as of 2000, uh, probably enabled by the internet, we have companies of smaller size but similar revenues. Uh, think of the Googles, etc. Then smaller and smaller companies came out. Think of uh, you know, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, etc. And now we're coming in the Uber economy. It's uh, actually you as an entrepreneur taking things in your hand, and it is all empowered literally by digital. So where are we going now? We have heard the vision on the technology being rolled out, 5G, low delays, high reliability, etc. And that will enable a totally new class of uh, entrepreneurship, we believe. And, and maybe that will get us into the era where actually machines will be able to do business. And uh, that may sound really futuristic, but in London, there's a company which has just appointed a computer on its board of directors to take actually executive decisions about the company. There are other people in the field in London developing fairly secretly mechanisms where actually machines and computers would build an entire company. So it is a company just run by machines, and that will only be possible if we have a, a delivery network like we have talked about. Now, equally, on the academic side, I'm fascinated how, how digital has changed the whole ecosystem. Think about it, 100 years ago, when you wanted to go to school or to university, you just had to go where you were. Maybe 50 years ago, you would take the phone and you would call up and try to see whether there's a place on the other side of the country. Um, as of 2000, you would just go to the internet, you would choose your best university, you would maybe look up what other people said about this university. As of 2014, things have changed. So we have MOOCs, the massive open online courses. You can actually be taught, no matter where you are on this planet, using skill set, no matter where it has been generated. And that has a very serious repercussion on my classroom. I'm teaching telecom. I'm teaching entrepreneurship. These are two fields which change very, very rapidly. I don't need to prepare slides just on the volume and bulk of information which my teachers had to do. I can focus on concepts. I can engage with my students, I can make them laugh, I can make them cry, because I know there's a lot of digital content out there which they can use and leverage on whilst they're not in my classroom. And things will go on. We have heard uh, Gerhard talking about this tactile internet. That's a complete revolutionary way and change how we deliver information, because the internets we had until today were information delivery networks. That tactile internet is a skill set delivery network. That will empower you to teach anybody on the other side of the planet what you are best at. Imagine me teaching a child in Gaza how to play the piano. You're teaching somebody how to serve as a car. So that is the type of ability we will see with the empowerment of 5G happening. Now, zooming back from the tech side, uh, it's all actually very, very difficult. So I'm heading the Center for Telecom Research. We're about 50 people there. And uh, we started working on this uh, tactile internet. And it turns out that if we continue business as usual, meaning we go with FreeGBP designing the network, etc., I'm afraid we will not get to the capacity as we would love to go with the abilities we just heard. So I feel we need maybe some architectural changes, some very significant changes how we design the whole architecture, how much software we put in, even more softwareization than when we actually envisage now. Because I would like to have the same excitement around a startup in telecoms as we have an excitement in the startup in, in the internet. For every telecom startup, you maybe have you know, 10 uh, biotech startups, 100 financial tech startups, and 10,000, even 100,000 uh, internet startups. Wouldn't it be brilliant to have the same amount of internet startups as in the telecom world and the other way around, just to enable essentially all the innovation and breakthrough we really need to make happen in this space? And that's what we're doing. So we just opened the Tactile Internet Lab in, in, in the UK, in, in, in King's College London, uh, in collaboration with Gerd Fettweiler and we are trying to build probably the world's first telecom incubator space in London. Thank you very much. Thank you.